I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Firebirds. We hope you're enjoying your second day of school so far. Today is Tuesday, August 25th, 2020. I'm Ms. Danny Hernandez, and Firebird TV starts now. These past few months have given cause to many changes, and with full-time online learning, we've had to learn to adapt to these new methods. Here's reporter Taylor Blanche explaining the different ways as to how online learning can be helpful or harmful. Quarantine brought about many changes. For myself and many others, the most prominent change that this pandemic has brought us is the transition to online learning. Now, when we wake up early for school, we don't have our friends or supportive teachers by our sides to make it a bit better. It's just us and our screens. The first quarter is the most crucial part of the year. It's when our teachers learn our names and we get to meet our new classmates. However, without the in-person experience, it makes the process that much more difficult. Staying after class to ask for help has become scheduling a Zoom meeting with your teacher. The motivation just isn't there like it used to be. You don't need to see the statistics to recognize the immense toll that this transition has had on students. While it is for the best, it is sometimes hard to see it that way. Through remote learning, we prevent the spread of COVID-19, which at the end of the day is the most important thing. On the bright side, there's almost no walking involved, which many of us did hate. Those age building stairs were no joke. There is really no right or wrong way to educate. Remote learning has its benefits and disadvantages. It might not be my first choice, but change is a part of life. It's how you adapt that dictates how you live. While this isn't how I wanted to start my senior year, I know it's what I have to do to keep myself and others safe. Signing off for Firebird TV, I'm Taylor Blanche reporting. Our administration has been working tirelessly to make sure this year is as stable and normal as possible, given the circumstances. Now that we've kicked off the year, a few of them have messages they'd like to share. If there was any piece of advice that you could give to the whole student body, what would it be? I would definitely tell the student body um, to be patient, to be flexible, um, and now even more to be even more responsible and on top of their schoolwork because we don't have that face-to-face -face interaction anymore. Um, but I think the most important thing is to be flexible and understanding um, with one another and, and their classmates and their teachers. Um, definitely not to forget to take care of their physical and mental health. Take some time to go outside, do things that you enjoy, get off the computer. That's super important. After eight hours in front of a screen, you have to make sure you get outside and do some physical activity. Thank you so much. So if there was any piece of advice you could give to the entire student body about the college process, what would it be? For seniors, I know because you've been trying to reach out to me. This is an important year. Relax. I'll be with you every step of the way. I'll be communicating with you guys shortly and I'll be visiting you in your government and economics classes. Well, when we get back to school, do you have your cell phone out? Out of uniform? Stay away from me. The best advice I can give you is to stay away from Addie. I fully agree. She's terrifying. Yes, sir. So if there was any piece of advice that you could give to the, the entire student body, what would it be? To come back soon. Aw, oh, isn't she nice? Stay away from me. You heard it here, guys. Don't talk to him. So, Spidey, if there was one thing that you could tell the entire student body, what would it be? Always work hard. And just know that if things don't go your way, never give up. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. That's about right. Now that we're ramping up online learning, it's important to know how you can be a responsible student over the computer. We've put together a quick video to help get you settled. 
Welcome to Zoom Etiquette for Dummies. First things first, make sure you wake up a little bit early because you don't want to show up looking like this. When you can look like this. No one wants to see you in your embarrassing PJs. Remember, you're still in school, so dress appropriately. Check that your Wi-Fi connection is stable before logging on. Make sure you're comfortable, but not too comfortable. Try to keep your workspace clean and manageable. No one wants to hear you and your video games, so keep all distractions silent and away during school hours. F in the chat. Try to take a bathroom break in between classes instead of in the middle. Remember, you're the one in class. Leilani, did you remember to flush? Oh, uh, mom, please, I'm in Zoom. Not your parents. <gasps> and on that note, mute yourself. And even though this change might be hard at first, remember, we're all learning together. Keeping up with all school activities from home can be a little difficult, but no worries, I'm here to help. Here are your daily announcements. Familiarizing yourself with your teacher's office hours can really help. You can find the full schedule online on the school website. Seniors, be sure to make an appointment with Foxmark to take your senior pictures. Due to online learning, lunch will be made available for curbside pickup on campus from 12 to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. Make sure to fill out the Google form on the Doral Academy website to register. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to check out the rest of the shows this week as they'll contain important information about our new schooling system. A reminder to follow us on all our social medias at Firebird TV to keep up with everything happening this school year. From all of us here at FETV, we hope you have a great day.